We are now at measure 10 of Ferry Lee's, but there are three pickup notes that lead us into it that are actually in measure 9. So if I go from measure 9, which ended like this, that's where those three notes would show up. This is the B above middle C with our second, C above that with our third, and then the D above that with our fourth. Then measure 10 begins. And I want to go just that far, which is halfway into measure 13. So back up here, right hand, we have B, C, D. Then for measure 10, we actually start on this E, two above middle C with our fifth. Left hand, you'll come in with a C arpeggio. This is the C below middle C with your fifth, G above that with your second, and then middle C with your first. When you combine that with the note the right hand played E, you can hear the C chord in there, which in its basic form is just C, E, and G. But I have those three notes, and actually extra one, spread out over the two hands like that. So once again, the pickup notes from measure nine. Here's measure 10. Pedal goes down. Next, right hand, you'll play the G above middle C with your first, then the F above that with your fifth, E below that with your fourth, and then the D right below that with your third. And for this, the left hand will jump to the left to play the G, two below middle C with the fifth. These will hit together. The sustain pedal will go up and down. Then left hand, play the G below middle C with your first, Cross over with your second or third to play the B above that. Then right hand play the F above middle C with your first, E above that with your fifth, D below that with your fourth. So let's go just that far. We'll start with the pickup notes leading us into measure 10. Right here, right hand, in measure 12, we'll have a C with our third. Left hand will play the A two below middle C with our fifth. Pedal up and down. Then left hand play the E above the A you just played with your second. A above that with your first. Then right hand play the E above middle C with your first. Then up to the D above that with your fifth. And then the C below that with your fourth. And then you'll play the B below that with your third. And with it left hand, you'll play the E two below middle C with your fifth. This is together, pedal up and down. Then left hand, I want you to play the E below middle C with your first. Cross over to play the E above middle C with your second or third. So now the left hand has moved up into the same zone that the right hand has been in. So let's go just that far again from the three pickup notes leading us into 10. Before we go any further, let's talk about the chords that are going on in measures 10, 11, and 12. When we came to here, that's our C chord. Right here is a G chord. Look at these notes. When you put the two hands together, or I think we had that in the left hand. So we have G, B, and D all together. Well, those are three notes of the G chord. Then we had, there's our A minor again. Look at the combination of notes. Then right here, these are just all E's and B's. It's probably an E chord, even though G sharp doesn't show up anywhere. Okay, so let's come back and look at just measure 13, 14, 15, and 16 by themselves.